Hi, welcome to Holly's Inspiration Station. And here I will gently guide you on how to entertain the dementia in so many different ways. And one of the ways that I'm going to uh, entertain, which my mother is, um, she has dementia and we're at the nursing home here and I've done some videos before. So again, my name is Holly and here's my mom. I don't know if you can say. It's my mom, Barbara. Usually around this time of night, this time of day, evening, cause the days are getting shorter now. Um, I usually read my mom like, it, it's like a bedtime story, but um, what I do is, you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to read to her the, um, the Spirit Animal Oracle. I know there's another one out there like this, but this is the Spirit Animal Oracle deck by Colleen Baron Reed. And I mean, Colette, I mean, Colette, Colette Baron Reed. Okay. And, and at the end, I'm going to do, um, a three card spread of the spirit animal Oracle deck. And I'm at the, at the end of the three card spread of that, I'm going to pull out one of these. It's the beautiful Archangel Raphael healing Oracle by Doreen Virtue. Okay. So I'm just going to set this up over here. All right. So you could see, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to start off with these. I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. Okay. And my mom loves this. She loves listening to me, uh, read about the, uh, the different animals and, and, and the meanings of the animals and messages behind it. It's nice. She, she really enjoys it. And this is, you know, one of the ways, um, that I entertain her, you know, she likes this sort of thing. So I'm going to give the cards a, a few shuffles. All right. They're beautiful cards, by the way. There's so many different animals, spirit guides in, in the cards. So we'll just give that a good shuffle. And these cards are huge. <laughs> and they're, they're nice. Though. They're big cards. Some big cards, some cards are... Some of the cards are big and, you know, some of them are a little bit smaller. So either way, I'm, I'm, I'm gentle as can be, you know, with these cards. Cause, you know. All right. So let's see, let's give the cards another shuffle. All right. Let's see what the animal spirit guides have to, um, tell us today. Okay, dear spirit animal of the, of the oracle, can you please gently guide us to the messages that um, we need to hear for today? And I believe today is the uh, 22nd of November and it is a Wednesday, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the deck a gentle three knocks. One, two, three, okay? Oh, wait. You know what we forgot? I'll tell you what we forgot. We forgot to cut the, the, the deck in half. All right, so let's let's cut the deck, all right? Yeah. Now we do it, okay? One, two, three, we get, all right, so let's see what we have. We have cow spirit. We have cow spirit. The miracles are endless. The miracles are endless. Never stop having faith and hope. Let's see what the other one is. Say, mom. See, beautiful cow with flowers. Very abundant. That's a very abundant card right there. Okay, so let's see what the next one is. <gasps> Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Okay, well, that sounds like it makes a lot of sense by the way this is car this is a, there's a 15 on here and there's a, a 26 on this card all right and then we're gonna pop out this see look ma flamingo flamingo spirit see beautiful right the fling and the flamingo is pink and the flamingo is pink yeah all right the little shades of orange too all right and the next one we have is white raven spirit 
Uh, trust in the magic. There you go. Trust in the magic, number 66. So here are the numbers, 15, 26, and 66. Okay. We're going to put these cards over here. And we're going to pop out the little um, guidance book. Okay. I'm going to pop out the little guidance book and see. Okay. So we are looking up cow spirit. And that is number 15. Oh, wait. No, that's not number 15. That's just the number of the card. Um, I'm looking up number 15 on the, uh, I'm looking for the page 15. No, 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 no. We got to go by this. Okay. So, um, here we have page number 46. So now the page is 46. Okay. So if anybody resonates with the number 15, please let me know in the comments below. Okay. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. You are a beautiful point. You are at a beautiful point in your life today for your needs are being met effortlessly and in so many ways. Fully embrace this truth by focusing on all you have right now, including the positive relationships that sustain you, the work you are proud of to do to contribute to the world and, to, and the activities that inspire you and nour nourish your soul. Cow spirit nudges you to pay attention because this is the perfect time to focus on the choices, action, and behaviors behaviors that you, you know feed your soul and bring your heart contentment. Now is also the time when you will see many of your projects and commitments that were set in motion in the past begin to yield valuable gifts that will bring you joy and love and sustain you for a long time to come. Stay positive and share your well-being with others. The more you share, the more you will manifest. So be generous. Generous. Cow Spirit promises you will never run out of miracles. And there's an extra protect, protection message. Cow Spirit asks you to pay attention to how you nourish your mind, body, and spirit. Because right now you are wobbling around like a newborn calf on its unsteady legs. Perhaps you've been spending too much time distracting yourself on the internet or obsessing over a relationship or choosing to eat food that is not healthy. Whatever it is, you're being nudged to assess how you are looking after your needs. Remember, the universe has a way of reflecting back to you events and conditions that match how you treat yourself. Cow spirit reminds you that the universe wants to give you the very best, but needs you to do your part to participate and nourish your well-being. Heed her message and everything will shift in your favor. That's beautiful. All right, so there you have it. Cow spirit. Miracles are endless. Just got to have faith. That's all. That's a great message to start off the night, right? To start off this evening. Well, it's evening. So, all right. The next we have is Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Speaking of the in-between, we're in the month of November. You know what that means, right? November is, you know, a Scor it's, it's Scorpio. It's a, um, in the astrology is a Scorpio. And um, the meaning behind Scorpio is transformation. November is a, a month of transformation, which, um, you know, you might feel, you know, in between, um, you might feel in between, you know, what you're doing in your life. So just embrace it. And um, yeah, I'll read the message. You'll, you'll understand more clearly. So we're looking up Flamingo. You know, things take time and, you know, transformation takes some time. So, but just know that um, everything's going to be okay. Um, embrace the in-between. Where is it? Here we go. Flamingo Spirit number 79. Okay. Balance comes easily to Flamingo Spirit who sees what was and what will be and stand strong in the face of uncertainty. You can be informed by what came before and plan for a future yet to be. 
but do not resist flamingo spirits call to be fully present in the now where the real magic happens with one foot in life you are moving away from from and one in the future as you become the one who leads the life of your highest intentions you must make peace with the fact that you are not fully in either place embrace the in between the presence of flamingo spirit is also a sign that your create creativity is arising within you and opportunities are beginning to present themselves remain here in a balanced state of mind for there is much to know and learn be before going forward with new plans you can trust this moment and yourself as you take in what you see and become aware of all that you are experiencing in this in-between time and the protection message is if you're feeling nervous and wobbly stop worrying about the past and the future instead be present in the in the moment balancing for now is a space in which creativity arises creativity is your birthright but if you're moving too quickly in an attempt to avoid the discomfort of transition you can blind yourself to the miraculous possibilities that are before you and now and those just coming into being the past has its lessons and planning has its merits but right now you may be in balance because you're be becoming too nostalgic for what once was or too anxious about what the future might hold there is time to plan carefully for now be still and know the spirit is here co-creating with you in the spirit the next step will appear when it needs to appear relax into a state of egg E Q U A N I M I T Y. I mean, I T Y. Equanimity. Well, you learn a new word every day. <laughs> Equi um, I feel like it means equilibrium, but just another way of saying it. Equin. Balance. Equanimity and balance. So any anxiety can transmute into trust and faith that all will be as it will for the highest good. Okay, there you have it. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in between. Because you know what? That sounds um that sounds right because we're in the month of November and November is all about transformation. Everything's gonna be okay. Alright, so white raven spirit trust in the magic trust in the magic okay you see how these two are looking at each other the ravens <laughs> the ravens looking at the flamingo all right and you know what these two they're co-creating with each other they're co-creating in the sense where the ravens saying hey Trust in the magic. And the flamingo is saying, embrace the in-between. So, embrace the in-between and trust, okay? Everything's going to be okay. Okay, so here we have trust in the magic. Let's see what number that is. Okay, White Raven Spirit. It's in the W's. Just bear with me. Here we are. Uh, number 194. Okay. All right. Nothing in the universe is random for the irrit. Here's another word, uh, intricate, intricate. I know, I, you know what? I remember seeing that word before. For the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences have meaning and white raven spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities, synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. Even the winds dance in a pattern, participating in the magic of spirit's plan for all. 
Align with the highest good and intentions and you will come to see that White Raven is guiding you, an ally to you and a messenger from spirit. Align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harm, harm, harmoniously in ways that I can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend, but it's there. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is ev everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic and you will see the hand of great spirit ar arranging things in your favor. And the protection, mes the protection message is, are you being distracted by the illusion of a chaotic universe? Deep in your heart, you know the world is full of magic and White Raven has appeared to remind you that the ways of the world can cause spiritual amnesia. Stay awake and alert for spirit wants you to enjoy the miracles all around you. Remember the evidence of divine order can be seen everywhere. Ask for a sign and it shall be yours. Synchronicity, synchronicities, synchronicities happen all the time. So if you are in a time of challenge and feeling cynical and all you need to do, all you need to do is ask for a reminder. White Raven will appear to reassure you that all of this is leading to something better for magic is in the wind. Well, you know what? All you gotta do is just believe. And as long as you keep the imagination alive and, and childlike spirit and you know, um, you know, when you when you were like a child, your imagination, you know, everything will be okay. But that was a beautiful message. Okay, so if anybody is resonating with the number 15, like I said before, or the number 26, or the number 26, please leave your comments below. I would really appreciate that. I'm curious. All right, and I think it'll be fun. All right, so we're going to put, we're going to go into the Archangel Raphael healing deck, and I'm going to um, pull out a bonus card. All right, a bonus, a little, a little bonus um, healing message. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you could see. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I have the guidebook. All right. So we're gonna give it a shuffle. I tell you, these are the lightest, these are the lightest cards I've ever shuffled that I've, that I've ever read. The lightest cards between Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael, like the lightest cards. shuffles let me say that was um i think we just did two i think this is shuffle number three i mean i'm not perfect at shuffling but um i am shuffling um okay. Okay. and we'll give it another shuffle one more time before we cut the deck okay All right, now we're gonna cut the deck. All right, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, Archangel Raphael, please gently guide us to the healing messages that, the healing message that you would like us to hear for today. Thank you. One, two, three. What do we have here? 
We have massage. Uh, massage. Okay. I thought it was message, but it's massage. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other... Uh, I, I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments. So usually, you know what? It's funny that this card um, popped up because I'm always, you know, making sure that my mother's well taken care of. And I'm either massaging, like I'm either giving her a hand massage or I'm either giving her a foot massage. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to also give her a, uh, give her a facial massage too. But um, I wanted to go get the right kind of um, lotion. It's got to be um, for sensitive skin for my mom's face. So I'm doing some research and trying to find the best, you know, I mean, I could use coconut oil too. I mean, I can go real natural, real organic, you know, but I remember there was a, there was a, a facial moisturizing lotion that she used to use a long time ago. Anyway, so, um, yeah, see what this, this card comes to remind you, that's it. Um, that's it. The thing is, this card comes to remind you about self-care. It's very important. Um, don't forget about and, and don't to to try not to forget about your self care. All right. So um, let's see what the because there's more of a message to it in the guidance book. So I'm gonna read that to you. Okay. Let's go into the guidebook. All right. So that's Archangel Raphael. I'm gonna, I only have time to just pull out one, but there'll be another day I'll pull out more. So I only did three from the Spirit of the Animal Oracle. And I'm just gonna read because I, I know there's more information to that card. Okay, so we're looking at massage. 72. The health, benefits, the health benefits of massage are well documented. And this card is a, a signal that you need to schedule one right away. And in addition to flushing out toxins, its relaxation benefits are highly curative. Think of a massage as an investment in your good health and well-being. While you're receiving one, invite Archangel Raphael to work with your massage therapist. Ask Raphael to lift toxic energy from within and around you. And don't be surprised if you or your massage therapist see sparkling emerald green light, which is the radiant calling card of Raphael's presence. Okay, and then there's a, a possible specific meaning. Give and receive massage, massages with your partner. Massage would be a good healing practice for you to learn. Treat yourself to a pedicure, including a foot massage, as a way of boosting your mood and self-esteem. Massage can help the person you're inquiring about. Dear Archangel, and I'm going to re recite the prayer again. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me to know that I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments. Isn't that beautiful? So basically, um, has a lot to do with self-care. See, Mom? It's a beautiful card, right? Yeah. It's an angel. The angel of uh, the Raphael, Archangel Raphael. Okay? It's like when I'm giving you hand massages and foot massages, and just a gentle reminder to take care, to not forget to take care of myself as well. So, um, there you have it. And it, 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 the messages is not only for myself or my mom, but it, it's all also for you guys as well. So, you know, just t uh, take what resonates and if, if, and then just, if nothing else resonates, just leave the rest behind. All right. But, um, these are all beautiful messages. All right. So, um, yeah. Times. So, um, yeah, there you have it. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to, view my channel and view this video and um don't forget please don't forget to take good care of yourselves all right and um my mom and me wish you a very good evening and uh be sure to come back again 
to watch another video at your favorite inspiration station, Holly's Inspiration Station, okay? And um, have a good night. Bye. <laughs>